Most, if not all, corn and soybeans have been planted in Siouxland, a near record start for farmers. Combined with the phase one trade deal worked out between China and the United States, the ag industry finally had something to look forward to. But now, Midwest agriculture businesses are fearing increased tension between China and the United States over the coronavirus, along with the overall weakness of the world economy, could change all that. KCAU 9 Washington correspondent Raquel Martin explains why in our top story today at 5. Escalating tensions between the U.S. and China is putting more pressure on the country's new trade relationship. It does cloud the outlook a little bit. David Salmonson with the American Farm Bureau says, well, the first phase of the deal requires China to purchase billions more in agriculture products. The pandemic is creating new concerns. But they've gotten off to a very slow start. Salmonson says while purchases are picking up, without a big increase by summer, farmers could be in trouble. It's a lot. China can purchase more from us. They have in the past. We hope they'll surpass that going forward. We're at all time lows in our pricing. And so we got to get a deal done. With farmers at their breaking point, Iowa Democrat Cindy Axney says farmers need the deal to work. All we've seen in Iowa is policies that are hurting our farmers and it's forcing, you know, our family farms out of business. In recent weeks, the president has blamed China for the global outbreak, and some lawmakers are calling on the U.S. to retaliate. But trade expert Bill Reinch says he doubts the president will lash out. Why he would want to hit the American economy with another blow, more tariffs, you know, before the election, uh, I, I can't imagine. Kansas Republican Ron Estes doesn't want coronavirus tensions to spill over. Uh, the political aspects are going to play out in, in another arena, uh, but let's make sure that we address trade issues. Publicly, the U.S. and China remain committed to the deal, but the president has stopped answering questions on the topic. In Washington, Raquel Martin, KCAU 9 News.